most late-term abortions are medically necessary. You'll often see this baseless claim made by most pro-choice pundits and even some less informed pro-life pundits. They claim that late-term abortions are very rare, which is not an argument, and that almost all of them are performed to save the life of the mother or because the fetus is non-viable. Now what source do they cite for this felonious assertion? None, because it is a felonious assertion. They also claim that no one would elect to have a late-term abortion if it weren't medically necessary. Well. According to Dr. Martin Haskell, who is credited with inventing the procedure for partial birth abortions before it was banned in, I believe, 2003, about 80% of all the abortions he performed in the 20 to 24 week range were elective. But we won't just take one man's word for it. We'll go straight to the most prestigious and number one cited institute on abortion statistics, the Guttmacher Institute. In a study from 2013, the Guttmacher Institute found that most women seeking late-term abortions fit at least one of five profiles. They were raising children alone, were depressed or using illicit substances, were in conflict with a male partner or experiencing domestic violence, had trouble deciding and then had access problems, or were young and nuliparous. Now I know what you're thinking. What in the hell does nuliparous mean? It's just a fancy term for a woman who has never born a child. And if you look at a report by the same institute from 1987, you'll find that of all the women seeking late-term abortions in the study, only 2% were seeking them due to a fetal abnormality or complication that was discovered late into the pregnancy. And if you dig into the 2013 study, they make it even easier for us by putting it in bold that even women who know of their pregnancies early on may seek later abortions because of the circumstances of their lives. And by now, I'm sure many of you are questioning, as you should be, what is this institute that you're citing so often, Ryan? Is it just some pro-life research center? Not exactly. The Guttmacher Institute was originally founded as part of Planned Parenthood and is still a partner of the International Planned Parenthood Federation. It is the number one cited institute by the CDC for abortion statistics and is the leading research institute by pro-choice activists. And if we look to our cousins across the pond who actually gather and track reasons for abortions at all stages of the pregnancy, we find that only 0.8% of late-term abortions were performed to save the life of the mother, and 36% of them were due to fetal abnormalities. Now, discussing fetal abnormalities can be a bit of a tricky topic because it's really an umbrella term that's used to describe a whole swath of medical conditions that range from ones that are quite serious to ones that are relatively benign. There are several studies that cite numerous examples of fetuses that were aborted at the 29th week into the pregnancy or later for the sole reason of having a relatively benign condition such as cleft palate or dwarfism. They had the same life expectancy as that of an average healthy newborn baby and even at the time of termination of the pregnancy they had an over 90% chance of survival outside the womb. But if our tiny hero protagonist managed to evade or avoid the persecution of Planned Parenthood they may take some solace in knowing there is a refuge out there for them in Washington State where they will no longer be tossed for sport because apparently killing a healthy viable unborn baby in the womb isn't a practice worth banning but outlawing the aeronautical exploits of the vertically challenged reaching for new heights is something that merits legislation and taxpayer resources <laughs>